self-driving taxi, a product of tech behemoth Baidu Inc., is navigating a Beijing street with no human at the controls. It comes to a halt half a car's length away upon detecting a delivery cart partially blocking its path. Apologies, a pre-recorded voice informs the passengers as the steering wheel autonomously maneuvers the taxi around the obstacle, all under the watchful eye of a Baidu technician seated in the front passenger seat. Baidu is a prominent player in China's autonomous vehicle industry, competing in a multi-billion dollar race against other developers like Alphabet Inc.'s Waymo and General Motors Co.'s Cruz to commercialize their cutting-edge technology. In April, Baidu and its competitor, Pony.ai, were granted the first licenses in China to operate taxis with no human driver but with a safety supervisor on board. This development occurred 18 months after Waymo launched its driverless ride-hailing service in Phoenix, Arizona, in October 2020. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. Established in 2000 as a search engine provider, Baidu has since branched out into artificial intelligence, processor chips, and other technological fields. The company asserts that its autonomous vehicles, if successful, could make driving more affordable, simpler, and safer. Wei Dong, the vice president of Baidu's Intelligent Driving Group, stated, Our primary objective with autonomous driving is to decrease traffic accidents caused by humans. Autonomous driving is among a range of emerging technologies, from artificial intelligence to renewable energy, into which Chinese companies are investing billions of dollars in an attempt to develop, spurred on by the ruling Communist Party. Beijing aspires to join the United States, Europe, and Japan as a technological powerhouse to enhance its wealth and global influence. This ambition opens up the potential for new inventions but also stokes tension with Washington and its allies, who view China as a strategic competitor. Baidu launched its Apollo Autonomous Driving Platform in 2017, followed by the Apollo Go self-driving taxi service three years later. The taxi service, which began in 2020 with a driver ready to intervene in emergencies, has now spread to Beijing, Shanghai, and eight other cities. Apollo Go claims to have provided 213,000 rides in the last quarter of the previous year, making it the busiest self-driving taxi service globally. In Yijuang, a 60-square-kilometer industrial district on the southeastern outskirts of Beijing with broad streets and few cyclists or pedestrians, Apollo Go initiated rides without a driver but with a supervisor in the passenger seat. Zhao Wei, a 43-year-old user of Baidu taxis in Yijuang, commented, it's extremely convenient. Zhao added, it might feel a tad safer than a human driver. Sometimes there are small objects that people might overlook. They can detect them and halt. Other players in the field include DeepRoot.ai and AutoX in Shenzhen. Pony.ai, established in 2016 and backed by Venture Capital, is currently testing autonomous cars and semi-trailer trucks. Owen Chen of S&P Global Mobility stated that the industry's plans are extremely ambitious in delivering the robo-taxi to the consumer. Geely, the automaker that owns Volvo Car, Geely, Lotus, and Polestar, has unveiled plans for autonomous vehicles linked to satellites. Meanwhile, network equipment manufacturer Huawei Technologies Limited is developing self-driving vehicles for mining and industrial applications. The government is advocating for automation to bolster economic growth by enhancing the productivity of its dwindling, aging workforce. The working age population in China has decreased by 5% since its peak in 2011 and is projected to continue declining. Wei commented, human resources are costly. The cost can plummet rapidly once this public service no longer requires human intervention. Pete Kelly, the managing director of the automotive division of Global Data PLC, stated, the global industry leadership is currently a race. However, China could easily take the lead due to their decision-making process and deployment strategies. In 2019, 
McKinsey and Company estimated that China's potential market for self-driving taxis, buses, trucks, and other related equipment and software could be worth trillions of dollars. The initial products may not recoup their development expenses but could serve as loss leaders to market other services, according to Kelly. Baidu has already begun selling navigation and other technologies to car manufacturers. Based on the agreements reached so far, the company anticipates total sales of 10 billion yuan, $1.5 billion, as stated by Chairman Robin Lee in a conference call with journalists on May 26. Baidu disclosed that it invested a total of 24.9 billion yuan, $3.9 billion, in research and development last year, but did not reveal the portion allocated to autonomous vehicles. The company reported a profit of 10.2 billion yuan, $1.7 billion, last year on revenue of 124.5 billion yuan, $19.5 billion. Baidu, along with its most advanced competitors, has achieved level 4 in the industry's five possible technology levels. This implies that their systems can function without a driver, but they must be pre-loaded with a detailed map, which restricts the area where they can operate. Technological advancements range from cruise control, a feature that has been available for decades, to level 3, which enables hands-free driving on highways. Self-driving robot carts are already extensively used in factories, warehouses, and other highly regulated environments. Once autonomous taxis are operational, operators must collect data about pedestrians and local conditions based on daily driving, a process that is time-consuming and may delay the deployment of the technology. For maneuvers such as U-turns, Baidu's Apollo system can track up to 200 vehicles, pedestrians, and other potential obstacles up to 100 meters, 110 yards, away. Wei mentioned that Baidu would welcome foreign partners adapting its technology for their markets, but the company currently has no plans for exports as it concentrates on Chinese cities. Intersections continue to pose a challenge, according to Wei. In China, pedestrians are accustomed to drivers slowly navigating through crowds at crosswalks while the light is green, a task that a robotic car cannot perform. Our car will always give way to pedestrians, which might result in it not making it through the light, Wei stated. Baidu has introduced its own autonomous car brand, JIDU, which recently showcased a concept car. Li announced that the company will target the family vehicle market with prices starting at 200,000 yuan, $30,000. Baidu has also partnered with three Chinese electric vehicle brands to manufacture cars with built-in computers, radar, and light-based sensors, rather than having them attached to the roof. Baidu aims to price its latest generation of taxis at 480,000 yuan, $72,000. To encourage the use of Apollo, Baidu has made the platform open source and claims to have enlisted 210 industry partners and 80,000 developers who may develop products based on it. Apollo Go plans to extend its autonomous taxi service to 65 cities by 2025 and 100 cities by 2030. Zhang Jiwa, a 29-year-old interior designer who uses Baidu's driverless taxis in Yijuang, said, the difference compared to a human driver isn't significant. If you aren't looking ahead and are engrossed in your mobile phone, it feels exactly the same. Baidu, with its expertise in EV and AI, is poised to carve out a significant presence in the realm of autonomous driving technology. Rest assured, we will keep a keen eye on their advancements and provide updates. For now, that's all we have. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.